Good morning everyone and welcome to this new video on how to get and set the asset selection inside the content browser with Python and C++. It starts to become an habit, but Python is, once again, limiting our possibilities. So we will quickly go through what is available for now. With its store asset library and the sync browser to objects function, we can ask Unreal to select assets with a list of paths. The result is interesting, but it does not work for levels. That's sad. And worst, it is the only functionality that we have for now. We can go really far with this. Imagine if you wanted to write a script that uses the user selection. Well, you can't. And this is the reason why I've done some C++ for you. This and also because I didn't want to make a video lasting less than 30 seconds. So we have four functions. The two first to get and set the asset selection and the two others for the folders. All of them are using arrays of strings as parameters. And, as always, don't forget the blueprint callable uFunction macro. In the CPP, we need to include these three headers Content Browser module, S Content Browser, and Asset Registry module. We also need to add their modules as dependencies in the build.cs file. The modules are Content Browser and Asset Registry. Voilà, we can now start to code. The get selected asset function starts by getting the selected asset from the content browser and then convert them into strings. If we print the result, we can see that it contains my selection. The set selected asset function is more complex. First, we need to convert the strings to f names, then we need to find the assets, and finally ask the content browser to select them. The result looks like the first function in Python, but better. The level is also selected. Yes! The get selected folders function is super simple because the content browser already works with strings. But the result may not be what you need. The folders inside the hierarchy are not part of the selected folders. Finally, the set selected folders function is as simple as the getter. But its behavior is the opposite. It only selects the folder inside the hierarchy. It's not awesome, but we will have to settle for it. Voila, that's it for this video. I'm going back to work and I'll see you in the next one.